Happy Wednesday, everyone. Thank you all so much for tuning back in, and let's get right into another recap here. So this is how the NASDAQ traded on the day today, and I just want to let you guys know how much of today was a great example of a pattern when I say higher highs and higher lows. This is pretty ideally what it would look like, right? So right around here was when the market opened up at 6.30 in the morning. And when I mean higher highs and higher lows, what I mean by that is that when the market did rally, you'll see it did start to push up. The highs it has here, once it does come back down and push up again, you'll notice that the highs repeatedly keep getting higher, right? The next time it, the market uh, rallied, it was able to push up all the way around 12.310, right? Right around here uh, for the NASDAQ. And previously, it was at 12.275, right around there, right? So the highs it has are continuously getting higher. And on top of that, if you'll notice that when the market does start to come back down, its lows are also getting higher, which is why it's called higher lows. And that's a good sign that the market wants to keep validating this pattern to uptrend, right? Because if you if you just think about it, if something's making higher highs and higher lows, that is an uptrending pattern. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. And that's why the market was able to rally. It really did a great job today of following that. And unfortunately, with this type of direction on the day, I couldn't take good advantage of it. If you'll notice, I was right on the day. It wasn't much, but I was down I was uh, down $43 on SQs and I was up $22 on TQs. And I did have a lot of filled orders today here, all of them, if you guys want to see them. And yeah, there was just a lot of filled orders. And I just want to be real with you guys and let you know too that at one point today, I was actually down on the day probably... Uh, around $110 just day trading, right? So I was down over a percent on the day and I was able to make it all back and actually enter the green before I took another few red trades putting me down. But definitely grateful for that. Uh, for that. And I want to just be transparent with you guys, right? Because something definitely needs to have gone wrong for me to be down over 1%. I was doing a sloppy job of managing my risk and really getting a true idea of where direction is headed because like I tell you guys time and time again, right? At the end of the day, once you're looking back at how the whole market played out, it can be easy to kind of think of um, of looking at the market and deciding where it was going to bounce off of, right? You could have been like, oh, I, I should have just bought in anywhere around these areas for a push up or any time it, it did have a nice gap up right around these areas, I could have looked to short the market for a nice little move to um, on SQs, right? And that is true, but you guys have to remember that the market when we trade live is playing out and we don't see any of this happening. So we really have to do our best job as traders to um, try and get a good understanding of where direction is going to go and to not be so one-sided like I've told you guys, right? A lot of people may have thought right here the market had to start recovering because they just were so one-sided on TQQQ when really it would take another pullback for it to actually start wanting to go, right? Another couple pullbacks. So today I definitely got faked on this and there was a lot of red candles mixed in with these green candles to show you kind of how choppy it was. So where I went wrong was, let's say when the market opened up and I saw TQQQ started to push, I would start getting in only to start seeing some resistance right around here. And this made me think that maybe the market was gonna start selling off, right? because it has been having this downtrending pattern. So I was just on the lookout for that and that's why I think there is chop around these areas because it's really trying to decide whether it wants to rally or fall. So if you'll notice, it had a lot of fake outs where it uh, tried to go, but ultimately ended up coming back down and then just faking people out. But if you did look at the market on the bigger time frames, you'll notice that there was this higher low pattern forming and the market just really wanted to validate this kind of support area here. And once you started to see that, it could have been a good idea, let's say, to buy into TQQ because it has bounced here before. And as you saw signs, it really did want to start going to average in. And maybe it wouldn't have been the worst idea to load off of shares where it previously has dropped, right? You don't have to. It could keep pushing up and you can risk it for the biscuit, right? But it, it, just do your part in, in making sure that it makes sense to you. And... I personally would lock in uh, profits if it were to fall, or at least a majority of them. That way, if it keeps ripping, you're still in with a little bit. But if it doesn't, you're not so mad at yourself because you knew there was a good chance it could have sold off right around here, right? So let's look at the NASDAQ on different time frames. This is a 5 day 5 minute. And right around here is where we started to see this movement, right? 
and you'll notice why exactly like I told you let's say when the market pulled up to this SMA line we didn't know whether the market was gonna actually want to break above it and continue to rally like it did end up doing or fall that's personally why I always tell you guys I think there's chop around these areas and I try and uh, stay away from areas where there can be a potential support or resistance you know I think those are the areas where it's a, a lot more unclear and I try and stay away from that so if the market were to have come and sold off down here you always have to be on the lookout for that right a lot of people may have thought but just because it bounced here and had this big sell-off it was finally gonna start to fall but you have to respect the fact that although it did have this nice sell-off it wanted to find a nice support here and still validate this uptrending pattern because even with a sell-off like that you can't argue that the market is not trying to still uptrend um, kind of following this type of pattern here so especially with this basically third validation of this higher low that's personally in my opinion why the market really started to rally because it was just really validating this pattern and a lot of people saw that and it's not a big shocker of why when it broke above this resistance area here it really took off right and it was able to hit highs on the day of 12 uh, of 12 4, 2, 9. so you can just look at it on the other time frames it's a 10 day 30 minute right and you can see like I just told you guys why maybe it made sense it could have struggled here it had a big sell-off it tried to pick up and we didn't know whether the market was going to continue to sell off which it could very well have done or try and uh, um, move up right rally for TQQQ and that's what happened and that just show, uh, goes to show you guys why it pays to be patient as a trader I was in the red today because I kept trying to size into um, size into trades every time the market started to go up even though it kept experiencing these areas of resistances and pullbacks I should have either done my part to maybe only size in in smaller increments instead of basically adding in like three quarters at once because I really did get burned when it pulled back or I could have just basically been a lot more patient and given the market maybe half an hour an hour I could have chilled out and then I could have seen these potential resistance areas and support areas for me and try to trade the middle or for a potential breakout but yeah, just don't be so one-sided and today's a great idea of why you don't want to be, right? You could have uh, got faked out a lot of times, but ultimately you just need to be patient and let the direction play out. So I really hope a lot of you guys were able to do well. It's my second day, uh, red day in a row now, so I'm really looking to bounce back. But I am happy with the way I was able to, at the end of the day, end with a small um, loss, right? That's what we need to focus on, managing risk, and I need to do a better job of that going forward because like I told you guys I was down over 1% at one point today and yeah it definitely could have ended a lot more red on the day but grateful I was able to capitalize the the moves that finally broke out and went my way so yeah thank you guys so much once again for tuning back in and I'll see you guys all tomorrow take care